the Tesman TM510 multimeter. This is a budget, small, friendly little meter, and it does probably what you need it to do. It's got AC and DC voltage testing, ohm testing, continuity, and near contact voltage, which is measured here at the top. You know, well, nothing there. But if there was something there, it would beep and light up. It's got a little light in it that would tell you. So turn this meter on, a lot of these functions are press and hold. So you press and hold the power button and you go into auto mode and it's sitting there searching for what mode it may need. Now you also have this little button, push it, doesn't do anything, right? See, it's got near contact voltage, hold it down. And now you're in near contact voltage mode. There's some high voltage up there. I just told you there's something up there. So anyway, that's pretty handy. So you hear the beep in the background, I assume, hopefully so. This is a lit up green because I am near a plug-in. But if I go and get a little bit closer, you hear that, uh, -da -da -da, it turns red and starts beeping very much faster. The LED is hidden just under the logo there. See that? There you go. I'm electrified, man. And to get back out of that mode, press and hold again, and it goes back to auto. It has a good light to help you see in the dark. And if it is dark, hold that button down. And it's got the flashlight. It's not the brightest flashlight, but when you're working in something in close quarters and it's dark, like a circuit panel or something, that'll work. Hold it down again to turn the flashlight on the back off, tap the button to turn the auto light, or it's not auto, the backlight off. One thing that's nice about that is that will stay on until, I don't know, maybe it cuts itself off entirely. But there's uh, no timeout on the backlight. I left it sitting on the desk a while ago with that light. And that light turned on and it didn't cut itself off until I hit that button. So I like that. It's pretty neat because how many times do you hit the backlight button? And it goes out in like three seconds. And uh, you're like, what did that say? And got to do it again while you're trying to hold the probe somewhere. There's not a lot to show you about this really. You see, you only got two ports to put your positive and your common probes in. Pretty self-explanatory. And it does the things that you need it to do. It's gonna be handy to keep in your bag. It's not gonna take up too much space. I like it. Tesman really done a, a good, good deal on this one.